This, this is our project, project on Canadian and world biomes. To start off, what are biomes? Biomes are geographical regions with similar ecosystems and climates. They are classified by plants in the region and by average precipitation and temperature. There are two types of biomes, terrestrial and aquatic. Let's explore the biomes of Canada now. Biomes of Canada. There are five terrestrial biomes in Canada. These include the boreal forest biome, the temperate coniferous biome, the temperate deciduous forest biome, the temperate grassland biome, and the tundra biome. Let's explore all of these in detail now. The tundra biome is found in Canada's north. Temperatures range from minus 15 degrees to 5 degrees Celsius and precipitation on average is less than 2,000 millimeters annually. Tundra features short summers which range from 20 to 30 days and freezing winters. Flora, which also means plants, include lichens, mosses, sedges, and small shrubs. Fauna, which also means animals, include arctic foxes, caribou, polar bears, and arctic hares. Some of the flora and fauna in the region also include the snowy owl, a small shrub, seals, caribou, which are very common, and the arctic fox. This is a basic summarization of the tundra region. Let's go now into the boreal forest or taiga forest of Canada. Temperatures in this region, on average, range from 4 degrees Celsius to 14 degrees Celsius, with precipitation ranging from 400 millimeters annually to 1,000 millimeters. This region includes cool summers and freezing winters, an overall feeling of cold. The flora in this region include coniferous trees, lichens, and grasses, and the fauna include woodpeckers, moose, bears, mosquitoes, and beavers. You can see some of the flora and fauna in the region, an owl, black bear, some coniferous trees, some plants, flowers, a toad. You can see the waters in this region, a wolf, a deforestation in the area. And this is a basic summarization of the boreal forest. Let's go now into the temperate deciduous forest of Canada. The temperate deciduous forest is located in the south of the boreal forest, which also includes the Ontario province and in eastern central Canada. Temperatures range from 10 degrees to 15 degrees Celsius. Precipitation ranges from 750 millimeters annually to 1,500 millimeters annually. This region also has distinct seasons especially summer and winter. Flora includes deciduous trees, ferns, shrubs, and grasses. Fauna includes hawks, rabbits, skunks, raccoons, snakes, and deer. Some more flora and fauna in the region also include uh, some of the deciduous trees. This is a look at the forest layers and the food chains. A deer, raccoons, hares, brown bears, ground squirrels, owls, foxes, and this is a basic summarization of the region. Now we go on to the temperate grassland biomes of Canada. This covers Alberta, Saskatchewan, and most of the prairie provinces. Temperatures in this, re in this region range from 4 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. Precipitation here ranges from 250 millimeters annually to 600 millimeters. The, this region has distinct seasons, especially summer and winter. The flora in this region have a majority of grasses, some flowering plants, and a few trees. Fauna include hawks, snakes, rats, elk, coyotes, badgers, and many other small animals. You can see the landscape here, the grasses, which are very common, some of the flowering plants, a killdeer, a warbler, small animals, Rattlesnake, which is very common, other an small animals, prairie dogs, which are common also, coyotes, and the buffalo, which is endangered. And you can see a basic summarization of the region. Now, we, we go to the last biome of Canada, the temperate coniferous forest. The temperate coniferous forest is located between the tundra and the deciduous forest, which also includes British Columbia. Temperatures on average range from minus 40 to 20 degrees Celsius. 
Precipitation on average ranges from 800 millimeters annually to 1,000 millimeters annually. The forest features warm, damp summers and mild, wet winters. Flora includes coniferous trees, Douglas fir, western red cedar. Fauna includes vultures, coyotes, black and grizzly bears, and lynx. You can see some of the flora and fauna again. Some of the lynx and food chains. Woodpeckers, bobcats, wolverines, some of the birds, and this is a basic summarization of the region. Now Canada has five major terrestrial biomes, but also has two aquatic biomes. Let's explore these. Marine and fresh water. Marine biomes have very high salt content. And you can see that some of the flora and fauna here, lobsters, whales, seagulls and the typical beach view. Freshwater biomes feature very low salt content. And these include salmon, uh, herons, these are some of the animals in the region, and beavers. That's all for Canadian biomes. Now what about world biomes? Yes, what about world biomes such as these grassland animals, or these desert animals, or these temperate deciduous forest animals, or these rainforest animals? What about all these animals that go into many other biomes? Well, let's explore world biomes right now. Now the world biomes are, can be classified as tropical rainforest, tropical dry forest, tropical savanna, and the rest of the list. But they can be further categorized into seven main groups. Let's go into detail of each of these. The tundra biome is found south of the Arctic ice caps and spread all across North America, Europe, and Siberia. Temperatures range from 40 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius on average and feature very long winters. Precipitation also ranges annually from 150 millimeters to 250 millimeters, mostly in the form of snow, hail, and frozen rain. Flora includes very few trees, but still feature plants such as lichens, mosses, grasses, sedges and shrubs. Fauna include caribou, arctic fox, moose, grizzly bears, polar bears, reindeer, and walrus. You can see some of the fun facts down here at the bottom also. So the tundra basically is located in these regions as you can see on the map which is mostly in the north and the temperature in this region peaks at the summertime and you can see even at its peak it's pretty low with only 10 degrees celsius and as precipitation is very low in this region also. Some of the flora you can see here, which are basically small primitive plants. And you can see some of the fauna here also. Now we go on to the temperate coniferous forest. The temperate coniferous forest is located between the tundra, which, which is found in the north, and the deciduous forest slash grasslands found in the south. The average temperature range in this region is from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. It has lo long cold snowy winters and warm humid summers. Precipitation in this region ranges from 300 to 900 millimeters of rain annually. Most of this in the form of rain. The flora in this region includes coniferous evergreen trees, which are the dominant species. These include spruces, pines, and firs. Other small shrubs exist also in the form of poison ivy, fireweed, fir. Amphibians and reptiles are scarce, but birds, mammals, and insects are common in this region. These include the bald eagle, the moose, the Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep, the monarch butterfly, common loon, and the Siberian tiger. If you go into more detail, you can see that most of this region is located in the north, and the temperature in this region, precipitation varies, and the dominant plant species, and one of the common fauna found in this region. Now we go on to the temperate deciduous forest. The temperate deciduous forest is located in eastern United States, Canada, Europe, China, and Japan. Temperatures range from minus 30 to 30 degrees Celsius, depending on the altitude though, and also feature hot, wet summers and cold winters. Precipitation ranges from 750 to 1,500 millimeters of rain annually in a variety of forms, such as sleet, hail, snow, and rain. Flora includes broadleaf trees such as oaks, maples, and beeches, and also the leaves change color in autumn, which is 
if you're wondering the definition of deciduous. Mm. Fauna also include bald eagle, brown bears, cardinals, porcupines, turkeys, and skunks. And going into more detail, you can see that they're located in the mid-latitude regions. You can see the temperature in this region can peak at certain months. The precipitation varies, some of the uh, flora in this region. And the, now we go on to the desert biome. The desert biome is located between 15 and 35 degrees latitude. This temperature in this region ranges from 38 degrees Celsius to negative 3.9 degrees Celsius in the nighttime. Temperatures can, can change drastically from day to night. The precipitation in this region ranges from 250 millimeters of rain annually. And the flora in this region include cacti, small bushes, and short grasses. Fauna include few large mammals, mammals such as the kangaroo rats, the rabbits, the skunks, grasshoppers, ants, and some of the burrowing owls. And there's three types of deserts. Hot and dry desert, which basically characterized by the title, are hot and really dry. Also the semi-arid deserts, which are humid and slightly dry. The cold deserts, which are located in the north. And then there's the coastal deserts located near the coasts of continents. You can see that uh, where deserts are located globally. And some of the animals in this region. Now we go on to the grassland biome. Grasslands are spread around all over the world. Temperatures in, these, in this region range from between 20, minus 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and precipitation ranges from 500 to 900 millimeters of rain annually. Grasses include oats, wheats, barley, and coneflowers and fauna include prairie dog, bison, African bush elephant, hyena. And going into detail you can, you can see they're located mostly in central parts of continents and the coasts. And the temperature here you can see is pretty high with a lot of precipitation. You can see the some of the flora in this region also and the fauna. And now we go on to the rainforest biome. The rainforest biome is found between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Temperatures in this region range from 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius on average. Precipitation ranges from 2,000 millimeters to 10,000 millimeters annually. And this is one of the distinguishing features of the rainforest also. Flora in this region include vines, palm trees, orchids, ferns, and there are three layers to the forest. The top layer, the middle layer, and the bottom layer. The fauna in this region include anaconda, boa constrictors, chimpanzees, glide beetles, tarantulas. This region contains the, is the most biodiverse area. Going into detail, you can see that they're located mostly in central areas of continents. The temperature is very high in this region and usually never goes to the negatives. And the precipitation is very high also, ranging from months to month. And some of the tropical plants in this region and some of the tropical species. Now we go on to the shrublands. Shrublands are located in west coastal regions, which is around 30 to 40 degrees north and south latitude. Temperatures are hot and dry in the summer and cool and moist in the winter. Precipitations range from 200 to 1,000 millimeters of rain per year. Flora includes shrubs, acacia, chamise, grasses, and have adapted to their environment. Fauna includes bighorn sheep, leopards, wild dogs, lynx, rabbits, baboons, and elephants. And going into detail, you can see they're, where they're located on global scale. You can see the temperatures are pretty high in this region also and the precipitation ranges from month to month. You can see that it's pretty dry and shrubs which grow very close to the ground to retain water. And you can see the animals in this region also. Well, those are all the world biomes. Now, what about North America? Well, as we talked about Canada, most of those biomes spread out onto the uh, North American biomes and include into the US also. These include the grasslands, temperate deciduous forests, and one of the key differences is a desert, which is not found in Canada, but it's found in most the southern parts of North America. And you can see there's some rainforest spread, and it's a variety of biomes that are found in North America. Well, that concludes biomes in North America. Let's go into a summary and review. This is a biome summary, and this is a comparison of each biome in terms of precipitation. And that concludes our presentation. The sites that we have used include all of the following. Thank you for watching.